All right. You guys really suck. I guess, I guess, we gotta be Elizabeth. Well, I guess it's time to take down some liberal pussies. All these Obama lovers are going down. George Bush for life, all that good stuff, I guess. Uh, we're gonna be Pagan, because Pagan is closely associated with failure. And that works quite well. So our tribe mates, I'm going to go down the list of people that were mentioned. Patrick mentioned Zoe, so we'll throw her in. Uh, Curtis mentioned Lex, of course, so we're going to have Lex there. Um, uh, Greg was mentioned by Mateo. And who else? I know there was one more. Hmm, Sean by Dylan. And Rose mentioned Gabrielle. Who's not in this game? Um, so let's put in John, the guy that got Gabriel out. <laughs> that works. Let's see how many threads John makes while he's in this game. Eh, who else should we put in? How about Richard Hatch? He is the winner of Survivor FE. After all, he deserves to be in. And let's put in one more woman. Uh... Now, you know what? Since Elizabeth is such a bitch, might as well put in the other bitch. There we go. Jerry. Alright. We're gonna choose our survivor Elizabeth. then. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. He's very excited to have us join his crew. On the first day, we do this. Now the second day. There is an ocean. Ouch! Richard smashes his thumb while cracking coconuts. No permanent damage, but Richard's thumb is pretty swollen. Oh no! How is Richard ever going to compete in this challenge? Oh. He's not going to compete in this challenge. I am. Okay. So, this is how the challenges work in this game. Especially... Okay, in the individual game, it's fine. But in the tribal stage, it's so stupid. Um... It's literally individual challenges. It's going to be me and my opponent. I guarantee you, is going to be Pascal. It always is, and it's basically us two. Whoever wins wins for the tribe. There is not a single team work challenge in this game. Not a single one. It's always you versus Pascal. That's how Pascal gets voted out. Then it's you versus whoever. All the way until the tribe swap or the merge or whatever. It's always going to be you versus one person. It's just so dumb. I always hated that. And, you know, in Australia, the challenges were really long, boring, tedious. But they did let you, you know, work together with the tribe. And it made tribal council, you know, a little bit more important. Because you take out the, you know, the people that suck. In this, it literally does not matter. Because nobody competes except for you. It's just dumb. So, Survivor's ready. It's a matching Go. game. Also, I changed the difficulty to hard because uh, I did a test run on easy and it was pathetic. And I'm not paying attention, so I just wasted a bunch of time because I. Okay, there's one. Okay, there's two. Uh oh. Where's that rock? Oh, I got lucky there. Where's that rock? I know I saw one. Okay. Okay, that fish head. Yay. It finds other things. Okay. Oh. Placement of these are very weird. Okay, I know I saw that one. Ah. Shit! Wow! I feel really stupid now. There we go. Wow, he might win. There we go. We got it. Ah! We have a winner. Right on the goddamn buzzer. Okay, let's see the scores. Give me that.
And keep in mind, that's a hard. I did so shitty there. I had no business winning that. I still won. The next day, there will be pots. So, um, we're not going to go to Tribal Council, but I suppose this would be a good time as any to show you how this works. Now, since we won immunity, they're not going to show it to us, but what would usually happen here is, as Tribal Council is about to happen, I'll have a list of everyone on the tribe, and it'll go down the list. And when it gets to your name, you can choose a person to align with, and then you choose a person that you're going to target together, and they'll either say, sure, we could do that, or no, we're not going to do that. The idea is to try to create the biggest alliance possible, or if someone, you propose something, they'll say, oh, I'm already on that train, you can come join us though. So the idea is to get on the biggest train possible to secure your safety. If you end this uh, period, I guess, I guess it's called survival period or strategy period or whatever, if you end this without an alliance, there's a very high possibility that you're going to get voted out. Or, if you're not voted out, you're not going to have any idea who the vote actually is. And I do believe that it contributes to your stats here. So, this is how the tribe feels about us. Indifferent means, you know, they don't really care either way. Favorable is good. And I believe that there's five different ranks. It's dislikes, unfavorable, indifferent, favorable, and likes. Um, right now, we're not too great. Because Lex thinks that we're weak in challenges. As does Jerry, and does, as does Greg. But Richard thinks we're good in challenges. John does as well, as does Sean. I'm a good builder. Oh, you know what that means. Ho oh, ho. We're destined to win because we are the builder. But yeah, this, okay, the builder, the resourcefulness, and the cooks. These are three people that are usually going to stick around. But the people that usually tend to win are people that are both builders and resourceful. Um, I know, I don't know if he's in this game. I really hope he isn't. But Frank Garrison always wins this game because he's a good builder and he's resourceful. So they always keep him. But uh, let's just scroll through here. So Lex isn't very well liked right now. Zoe is hated right now. Sean, everyone hates Sean. I don't know what it is. Sean is always like the first boot in this game. I don't know why. I guess he has no skills. But everyone always hates him. John isn't too great. People aren't too fond of Richard. And people aren't too fond of Greg. And Jerry's kind of eh. And that leaves us here. So we're the only person that has that favorable with anybody. So that's kind of good, I guess. This is our camp rating, by the way. This goes up with uh, reward wins. The stuff that happens here, if it's bad stuff, it'll go down. If it's good stuff, it'll go up. I'm not really sure what cap stats does. I think what it does is it affects morale. I think you're more likely to have favorable and likes if the camp rating is high. And if it's low, it's more likely that people are going to hate you because they're going to be grumpy. But uh, anyway, since uh, that went well, we're going to save here. There's my little test game that went poorly. Uh, yeah, we'll save. Yes, we like to overwrite it. And uh, with that, we're going to break this here. And I'll be back with the uh, second episode.